What's up the YouTubers? Black Zen here and welcome back to another random build review. In the previous video we kind of worked on the Grand Kaiser's uh, main torso as well as putting his other arm together and of course his pelvis. So for this video we are still going to be working on the uh, model roids God Gravion from the Good Smile Company with Grand Kaiser's legs, his hands, and of course, maybe his uh, non-transforming upper torso, which comes with this figure. It's a bit of an extra. We'll see how far we get. So as you can see, we've kind of got most of the figure done itself. Still needs his legs and hands. Which I'm kind of looking forward into this video. So that being said, um, we might also might get some... Uh, few more stickers in on this. So, let's get right to it. Alrighty, so moving right along. As much as the legs are symmetrical, it does have a bit of a difference. Mostly up in the thighs. I think I want to start is to skip ahead and get some hands going. Okay, so I'm going to GB8 first, which is sort of a gun to the Grand Kaiser. And I'm just going to set this tray off to the side for right now and get to that later. And I'm surprised that Grand Kaiser has this only weapon for himself and a few different ones when he's a Gravion. I'm not going to complain about that. GC. Nine, six, ten, four, five, and eleven, and also fifteen, sixteen. Huh. Quite the full set. So it seems we have some open hands here. Put these out. See if I'm looking at this right. Let's see. Ten and four. Be for the gun. Plastic guns may be okay, especially uh, solid wood ones that don't have projectiles. But if you're going to be using a uh, a real gun. I advise extreme caution with that. Now let's see how this is going. Let's see. 
backhand on the grip first. And then get the other half over the handle. Okay, so now you got one of his hands done with the weapon. And it's slipping through my hand as well. <laughs> Oops. Okay. So GC six and nine on one side. flinged right out. <laughs> and 5 and 11 on the other. And that's 5. Not to get 11. Okay. I'll just put that back for right now. Get our hands together. tell right now it's a piece of slipping through my hands okay let's try oh, okay there's one that'll be his left fist hmm. let's get the other one and this will make his right fist. There we go. I think I'll just put these on here like so. There goes one. There goes the other. And I want to take a quick look at the instructions here in case we missed anything. Okay, that sticker we already did back in step 26 when we were forming his chest. Get some black stickers. Go on his arms. Oh. Okay, there's one. I don't know if you could see that one, but I just got three on. Oh, bollocks. Okay. And 
last one. Yeah, it's basically two for each arm in this case. All right. So no more sticker work for Grand Kaiser. Get up. And let's see here. Put these with the crown so I don't lose them. Okay, now I need trays C, D, double G, G, E, G, F. Almost two of everything. Hmm. Okay, so let's start this out right. C D Getting rid of an itch. G D where Are the ones that had the uh, shoulder armor? GG. Uh, and GEs. Got them right there. What else do I need? GC, I already know we need it because it has the thigh parts. And I think that's basically it. Okay. Alright. So, seeing as. GC is almost gone. Got the thigh parts as well as a uh, blade for the sword. Uh, clip out cast. Parts out. This one is GC eight. The other will get seven. Outer cast GC fourteen down here. And that was number 13 for the other side.
Oop, there go my tweezers. <laughs> oh, wait. Ugh. That's what I get for being clumsy. Bit of an oops. Alright. Okay, for starts, I want trays D and C. Which are right on the bottom. Parts one and two. And C thirteen. There's thirteen. Hmm. Sometimes it's hard to tell which is what. Let's get covered. Like so, or not. Sometimes these parts just don't want to sandwich properly. Come on. Okay, that's one way to do it, sort of. Okay, so we got one. I'll just place it right here for now. Tray C, part 15. Part 15, where's... 15, right where my finger is. Parts of D3 and D4. Okay, I see number three. That gets out first. Oh, good, and we have some under gates too. Mm 
Here it's part four I'm holding. Part three is the short stump. Part C gets sandwiched in between. That gives us a new joint. There we go. Seems like this becomes an ankle. Okay, D, part five. All right, let's see where five is. Followed by GD7, white tray, and I'm bumping things again, Rawr. and more under gates. What's it? What's it with these uh, model kits and under gates? goes on first seem to be getting some toesies there GG 10 and number two Okay, I see number two. Oh, there's number ten. Tozy's going first because we want to make sure this is all secure. Now for the heel spur. You just need to give it its uh, ankle. Let's 
try to line it up and in it goes. So we have a foot. Can't tell if it's uh, left or right yet, but it looks like it's uh, is right. Okay, G E. Part six, five, and seven. Clip out five first. Which way are you going? Try six first. Okay, best I double check before I do anything stupid. So there's always a chance that I just might goof up. Okay, and then, now part seven goes on. Let's get sandwiched. GF. Oh, I forgot about these. GFs. These. Blimey. Okay. GF four and five. Even more under gates. Get out. Okay. Tray's empty. Gone. And let's see. What, which one is which again? The thing about confusion is, <laughs> well, you just do. You get confused. Okay, so I did have that right. Okay. Okie doke. Get rid of the annoying undergates first. Okay, so... I'm guessing... This goes on front? No. No, no, um... Oh, it's the front one. Okay. Part from D. Going down here. Okay. 
and GE9. Nine? Nine, nine, nine. nine. Hmm. Oh, you think I'm saying a number? Nine. <laughs> You'll have to forgive my sense of humor. I've got to be funny sometimes, you know. Okay, so GE9 slides right in the middle and then gets sandwiched with the other half. Flip this over. Okay. Grab our GG tray. And clip out some parts. GG eight, nine, and three. Nine on one side. Eight on the other. We get number three out here. And the rest on this tray is just mostly weapon parts, so I'm just going to put it right back for now. So, let's see. Number 9 goes over here, and the crown should be right up there. <laughs> Eight on the other. Uh, I think this is starting to look like a leg. At least a decent kind of leg. Forward shin. I tried to line this all up. So it stays on. Now just for the heck of it, I'm going to connect the leg and the foot together. Need a part from GD. Number nine. Right, you gotta be careful here. So I do not want to break this part. I have to buy a new set. I to put this on to make sure it stays all locked and secure. Mm -hmm. Okay. I 
that's one section. Now to make this actually the right leg, let's see, we need our two thigh parts here. on I do feel it's starting to become a little stiff and so another part from GE number eight. And I think there's this last one on the tray is a weapon part. I'll just slide that right over there. Which one is oh that's GH, so Okay. Okay. Not gonna fret, not gonna get upset. Again, my alphabet mixed up. <laughs> okay. As much as my eyes are playing tricks, I'm going to do a little experiment. Hopefully I have this in the right place. Hmm. Okay, I think I have it in the right place. Oop. I don't like when things uh, slip through my fingers. Makes it very difficult. Let's try this upside down, won't it? Will this work? Hmm? And the part says no. Okay, so I had it right the first time. Okay, is the part not going in? Hmm. Oh, there's one side. <clears throat> Never mind. Okay, seems like I got it. Now this goes in. And we got a leg. Well, at least one of the two legs. <laughs> Okay, now for this, I'm going to double back. Get my trays out of the way here. At least most of them. 
and do some speed building on the other side. So, that being said, let's get right down to it. second leg completed uh, there seems to be a few technical difficulties so uh, I'll be right back with that okay so I managed to fix up the uh, left leg of the figure Ooh, and there goes the right clumsy me so what happened it was uh, there were some parts that I didn't want to uh, go in right, especially with this uh, part. But managed to get it fit in all the way. So all that's left is to attach the legs to the figure. So attach the left first. Okay. Now the right. Mm. And that'll be it. Grand Kaiser is done. And it only took three videos to do it. Despite a few uh, setbacks. Now I do have to say I'm quite impressed on how this turned out. I like the figure. I like the scale of it. Despite being a Six inches? I should probably get the ruler next time. And we did manage to kill off about two identical trays. Manage to make his hands. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to do the uh, non-transforming upper torso of the body like I thought we would in this video, but... Eh, it is what it is, so I'll probably have to do it... Later on, probably as an extra. But again, I really do like how this turned out. And even though it's a part of Gravion, there's still about ooh, three, four vehicles left for the 
whole combination as well as its transformation. But again, in another video. Okay, so that being said, join me next time when we review the Grand Kaiser to the Moderoid God Gravion set. And this is Black Xana saying, Tower Deactivated. And I'll see you all until next time. And this is Black Xana saying, Tower Deactivated. Please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications if you haven't. I'll be back with more good videos. And I'll see you all until next time. And this is Black Xana saying, Tower Deactivated. I'll be back with many more good videos. Please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications if you haven't. As well as uh, subscribe to my uh, game and vlogging channel. Link in the description below. And I will see you all until next time. Bye.